credit. So there, you will see after that, in about four months after the end of the fiscal year, the gross national debt will go up another trillion thousand. So, a lot of people say, well, this is a problem for our children. No, this is a problem today. It is our problem. Interest on the debt during the fiscal year will be roughly $420 billion, including what's owed to the trust fund. That is equivalent to 34% of all the personal income tax that will be paid during uh, fiscal 2013. It is more money than the cost of 10 government departments. The Department of Commerce, Education, Energy, HUD, Interior, Justice. But Congress does literally, will have to borrow roughly $8 billion by 2020. We ask the question now, where are they going to get the money? There's not enough money available in the world to fund this debt. Keeping in mind that trust funds funded most of this, trust funds and foreign energies did most of this, from where are they going to get the money? Foreign entities are presently losing interest in loaning our government money to fund our government. In fact, Japan and China really haven't increased how much they've loaned to us for the last two or three years. A little bit, maybe a hundred billion dollars between the two. The amount of money that, we, that they have loaned us, they will probably in about five years begin to take back. They're going to get out of our, uh, our marketplace because the interest rates are so low. Beginning roughly 2018, the Social Security Trust Fund won't throw off surpluses anymore. By the way, they count, they have on average roughly $100 billion a year they've taken out of Social Security. Social Security is owed $2.6 trillion today that they have loaned to the federal government. There's no money in the Civil Service Trust Fund, the Retirement Fund. There's no money in the Military Retirement Trust Fund. That's all been taken to pay for these deficits. Enter the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States. From in 2011, the Federal Reserve printed and loaned to Congress $655 billion to help pay down our debt. So far in 2013, the Fed on average has been loaning our government $44 billion a month. By October of this year, the Federal Reserve will now own $2.2 trillion of our federal government's debt. Now, many of you remember history. I know it isn't taught in the schools anymore. Yeah. The printing of currency to support a government is the last act of a desperate nation. And the problem we're having is that this is a ticking time bomb that's going to occur much sooner than a lot of people think. Because the Federal Reserve has been buying down the debt, on a $17 trillion debt this year, the average interest rate that they will owe is 2.4%. As soon as just 2007, the average interest rate was 4.8% on our national debt. In 2001, it was 5.7%, and back in the 1990s, we paid 7% on our national debt. The right now is 2.4%. What would the interest have been this calendar year, this fiscal year, if the interest rate was simply what it was in 2007? More than $800 billion. So we have a real problem. Since interest rate is so low, private investors don't want government debt. Foreign entities aren't interested in it either. The trust funds are not throwing off surpluses. Guess what? The Federal Reserve Bank could very well be the principal source of funding for the debt in the future. So, I didn't want to 